Hello everyone, it's Kelsey here. Welcome and welcome back to my channel, Budget Better Life, where I budget, cash stuff, and save for a less stressful, more enjoyable life. If that sounds great and you can relate, thank you for watching. Okay, everyone, so I have been busy at work creating and I am putting up some new listings in my Etsy shop and I wanted to do a video showing you guys everything that I have that is new. So that is gonna be what this video is today. We're just gonna look at all of these things individually and I'm gonna show you what I have that is new to my shop. But first, let me clear this off and I'll show you everything one at a time. Okay, so first thing is first, I have here my Penny Savings Challenge, and this is broken into four quarters. And so if you save all of these together, um, you could do one a day, or you could do it basically however you'd like, um, but you will get all the way to $3.65 with a total saved of 667 dollars and 95 cents so basically what i wanted here was a new way to save my change because i was using that bigger savings challenge which is like a 52 week penny savings challenge and i really wanted something that had smaller denominations so that each week i could toss some money into um my penny savings challenge and it didn't i didn't have to collect it until it was like 20 dollars worth of change um, the highest amount of change I will hit here is $3.65. So that is what I came up with as a quick and easy way for me to save my change all year long, every week with my rollover. And these are A6 in size, so you can pop them down into your zipper envelope if you want, or just leave them as they are. These are going to be available as a digital download on my Etsy shop. And let me grab the next thing. So the next thing that I have here is like a little tracker, um, kind of like an expense tracker, or you could use it as like a tracker to track, um, you know, what's in your envelopes if you wanted. So these could pop down into the back of like your envelope if you wanted to, you know, have your tracker inside of your zipper folder instead of like attached. Um, I really didn't like the ones that were like attached and they also had columns where it was like, you put the date, you put the amount, you put what it is. I wanted just like an easy blank slate where I can add in the categories I want or I could just put the total amount all the way down. Um, and so that's why I have these here. And these actually came second because the first thing that I created was this. So this is my little expense tracker that I like to use in my wallet. So this is my wallet that I carry around throughout the week. And um, let me just pull out like a dollar bill just to show you, oh, I happen to have a $2 bill right here. So I wanted something that I could write the categories that were in my zipper folder. So I could write like my sinking funds and the amount that I had in the folder so that if I ran my card, I knew like how much I had in the folder so that I didn't go over or something. And also, um, if I just made a purchase and I didn't spend cash, I ran a card, a debit card or something, and I wanted to be able to unstuff the cash and know exactly how much for the category, I could just write it down here. And it was something that was exactly the same size as a dollar bill. So like I knew it was going to fit nice and easily right down into my wallet. No problem. I have an expense tracker that I can just take with me and write and track all week long. Um, and so I really like these. So these will be available um, as well as the longer version or I don't know what to call this, the bigger version, I guess. Um, but these will be av available as a digital download in my Etsy shop as well. Um, and yeah, that is these, which I think are super cute. So let me set these aside and I'll show you the next thing. Alrighty, so I might as well keep my $2 bill out so that I can show you my prop money that I have. So this prop money might look a little bit silly to you because it, um, 
it doesn't have anything on it. It's pretty much blank. But let me tell you, so it's it's just about a little bit smaller than the size of a, a dollar bill. And um, I have it in 1,000. I want to make sure you guys can see what I can see here. So let me just stack these together because I think I zoomed in too much. So I have it in 1,500, 100, 50. And I also have um, a download, a digital download that would be 1s, 5s, 10s, and 20s. So my thought with this is that I would use stickers and things that I got in my Happy Mail to be able to decorate um, my bills. And that way it was like a fun way for me to hang on to um, the stickers that I was getting and be able to also make some cute prop money. So at the end of this video, I will actually be decorating these bills because these will be mine. Um, I'll be decorating them with some stickers um, and just getting them ready so I can kind of show you guys what the idea is with these. But these will also be available as a digital download in my Etsy shop, which if I haven't said already is linked in the description below. And make sure you guys stick around to the end of the video to see how I decorate my new prop money. And let me set this aside and I will show you the next thing. So these are the next ones here. These are little savings challenge trackers and these are for specific things that I was needing. And so um, I created these and these will be available as a digital download in my Etsy shop as well. So I have pet emergency, as you guys might know, um, I did have a big pet emergency and I pulled from my regular emergency fund, but I really wanted something that was specifically for my pets. I have a dog and a cat. And so I thought this was a great way to be able to save for a pet emergency fund. And it is blank, so you would just fill in how much each icon was worth and save your way there. Um, also, I have cell phone. So one of my debts is trying to pay off our cell phones so that we own our cell phones. And then I would like to save up for a new cell phone so that we're not paying um, monthly an installment on phones. So that was my idea here. And hopefully we can save up for that with this cute savings challenge tracker. And finally, I wanted to create one for moving because we are planning to buy a home at some point and I know that there are a lot of moving expenses that go along with that. And so I'm thinking this could be used for things like a storage unit or um, pa like not packing, but like, yeah, packing materials, you know, boxes and things, but also like a U-Haul. Um, if we do hire movers, which I don't know if we will or not, but that way I've got something saved up for those moving expenses. And so these again are A6 size and would fit down into um, your A6 envelope. And these are available as a digital download on my Etsy shop. So let me set these aside and I am going to show you my new savings challenge tracker for my star notes. So I have been collecting star notes and I really didn't have any place to put them. I didn't have a savings challenge for them or a tracker or anything. So I created this cute little savings challenge tracker just in black and white and I thought maybe I could color these in yellow or just different colors to kind of brighten it up. Um, and I plan on just writing in the number of the bill that I that I find if it's a star note for, um, you know, say it's a $5, I'd write a five in there and just kind of save them up until I fill this up. But if you don't want to necessarily collect star notes, but you just write but you just like the tracker itself. It just says written in the stars and you could just use this as a normal savings challenge tracker um, for whatever you would like. And so this one again will be available as a digital download in my Etsy shop. So that should bring me to the final item, um, which I will show you now. Alrighty guys, so these are my mystery scratch cards. So I had showed you guys, I created little mystery scratch cards where they are laminated little cards, which are super cute. And um, I created a little dashboard to go along with those. If you guys wanted um, a little A6 zipper folder with a dashboard, I will have these available as an add-on. And while I was working on that and creating that for my mystery scratch cards, 
And as I was coming up with this idea to use stickers for my prop notes, um, I decided to go ahead and make little mystery scratch off stickers. So um, these are little stickers. These are my boba stickers because I love boba so much. And so these are 10 little stickers and they come in this cute little bag here. And um, I have included a little scratch off tool. And on the back of each of these is a scratcher. And so if you order this mystery scratch off stickers and you would like to get an envelope that says mystery scratch stickers, I can do that for you um, with a dashboard and an A6 if you would like. Um, and yeah, these are little stickers. There's 10 of them, but they are in denominations of one through 20, 20 through 40, 40 through 60, um, so on up until 100 if you would like to get really daring. Um, and so it truly is a mystery because you have 10 stickers, but because the denominations are um, maybe one through 20, you don't know exactly how much you will be saving with these um, little scratch stickers. And so it's kind of a fun little mystery way to save up an amount that is within your budget. And then you can use these cute little stickers to decorate, say your prop bills, your binders, or anything that you guys like to use stickers on. And so these are the little mystery scratch stickers. And I just think they are so super, super cute. Um, and so that is it for listings that are new to my Etsy shop. So let me just put these stickers back into this little bag and I will pull out those prop bills and I'm going to start decorating those prop bills. But yeah, these are the little mystery scratch off stickers with the mystery scratch envelope. And let's grab my prop bills. So I've got a 500, a 50, a 1000 and a 100. And I'll just start with the, I'll start with the 50 here. So we'll do the 50, then we'll do 100, 500, and 1,000. And for stickers, I have some of my little turtles that I send out, and I thought these colors would be really good. And then I also have um, this one that I got from Erica at Black and Blue in one of my Happy Mails. And so I think I'm going to do... Um, let's see. I think I'm going to do this one on the 500 because I kind of like the colors with that one. So let me set that one aside. And then for the 50, I think I'll go with one of these cute little turtles. I think this one looks really nice. So I'm going to do this one. And what I plan on doing after I decorate these bills is just um, laminating them and so once I laminate them they will be a little bit more rigid and um, I will make sure that obviously the sticker doesn't come off of it so that is my plan I want to try to get this right in the middle here Alrighty, so that one is super cute and I could even add a couple little small stickers on the sides if I wanted to kind of fill it out a little bit more, but I think that's going to be good just for right now. And then for the 100, I think I'm going to go with another turtle and I'm just trying to decide which one to use. This one's got a little bit of blue in it, which is pretty. And, but this one kind of looks like cosmic sky. So I think I'm going to go with this one. And I think I want this turtle to be swimming in the opposite direction. So let's do that. So we'll make this guy go in this way. And again, I kind of want it right in the middle. Perfect. And that way I could put like some little stars here on the side. I think I might do that. Um, but not at this moment because I can't find my little sticker book that I use in my mini challenges. I'm sure I'll find it. And then I was thinking of this, you got this one on the 500. Um, just because when you hit 500, you got this. You can get to 1,000. So that's what I'm going to do with this one. I am not the best at placing things down perfectly, but 
doesn't need to be perfect. Oh, that's so super cute. I could put some hearts over here. That would be super cute. So that one is good. And then the very last one I will do is this one. And I think the 1000 needs this big donut. Um, and this one, I believe I got this one from Black and Blue from Erica over at Black and Blue as well when I purchased from her bling shop, making it bling. And I love this donut. It's just so super cute. And I didn't know what to do with it or where to put it. And I definitely wanted to save it. So we're going to put it right here in the middle. Ooh, that was close. I don't know if I can peel it up. Yes, I can peel it up. I want it to be like really right in the middle with the frosting on the top. All right, let's try that. I think that's it. I think I've done it. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So I've got my donut, I've got my turtles, I've got my rainbow. I have some super cute prop money to be able to play with. I might decorate, decorate these guys a little bit more and then I will laminate them and they will be so super cute. So again, these will be available as a digital download in my Etsy shop and I've got the denominations 50, 100, 500, 1000, as well as ones, fives, tens, and twenties. So that is going to be it, guys. I hope you guys like some of the new items that I have in my Etsy shop and hope you guys check it out. Again, it is linked in the description below. I appreciate you guys, your support and everything. Just watching my videos, just commenting. Um, and yeah, so I am so thankful for every single one of you, whether you buy from my shop or not. Um, but I'm really happy to be able to share some of these new items with you guys and hopefully you love them as much as I do. And that is going to be it for today's video. So other than that, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.